top of this. And there you go. And there you go, so there you go, so. Them kids are nowadays when you look both diamond. And there you go, so. So, so, so. And there you go, so. What diamond? Yes, them kids are nowadays. Them not play marble. Them not fly kite. Because in life, it's not what you're doing now, but it's how you want to be remembered at the end of your journey. So welcome back to another video as you can see this video is a little bit different because i have somebody in the hot seat my dad so we want to welcome him to life with lati and from you see the title you know what this is about if it is something that triggers you and you are not the type of person who want to see something like this you can exit the video you don't have to watch it all right just but you can click the, th the thumbs up still all right agreed with us so I'll be asking my dad a few questions. He knows nothing about these questions. He was asking me a while ago what the questions were about. I told him I'm going to be spontaneous and just ask him. And he said, all right, yeah, me work with that. That is an answer. So, <laughs> hi, daddy. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. You're doing good? Great. Right, you're nervous about the questions that I'm going to ask you? No, I'm never nervous. You're never nervous. Nothing all right. nervous. <laughs> all right, I'm going to start out real simple. Real, real simple. And I want to ask you, what does love mean to you? love yeah what is love to you i think love is a form of communication mm -hmm. a form of when we see high to high yeah and understand each other uh -huh. and when i believe in doing the things that you don't like i don't do them and you do the same so it's like a six and a half dozen okay i love you and i respect you you love me and you respect me and we go from there okay. that's my definition, right, of your love. definition of love all right really the questions i wanted to ask is because of how you are with your kids i wanted to pour it to the world to let them know that they are great men because um in the culture jamaican culture we see where um there's a lot of men who are not in their children's life and it it, it breaks my heart honestly because of the dad that you are to us and well you are to me because i can talk about myself but i've seen it with my other siblings and stuff so i wanted to ask you a few questions about that like why do you think it is great to be a part of your children's life okay first of all you have to be real to yourself mm -hmm. second sometimes is how you are treated by your parents if they wasn't there for you how you feel about it mm -hmm. my parents most times some of them they wasn't there mm -hmm. when i wanted them to and that hurts me a lot so i made that promise to myself that I will never make my kids feel the way how I felt because it wasn't a good it feeling. wasn't a good feelings for me. So from I was going to school, I used to say, when I get my kids, it's two things about kids. It's either you spoil them or you treat them. So you have to choose which one you will do. And I choose to spoil them and take care of them. Because in life, it's not what you're doing now, but it's how you want to be remembered at the end of your journey okay all right all right i love that answer um so i guess that would answer because my next question would be basically a follow-up why do you remain in their lives but based on what you just said it would have basically covered that part of it um but why do you love us the way you do because we have i have so many siblings right and i can never say well you love this one more than that one or i see you treat that one better than this one it's like you pour the same energy, the same love to all of us. Why do you why do you show that kind of love to us? All right. The thing about me is I stay by myself and I think a lot mm -hmm. from I was young. Right? One thing I know, I know that love don't love no one. So to show love, you have to love someone. That's you understand? It. Yeah. So me, by me loving you guys. Mm -hmm sharing everything 
Because when I go to school, I want to say, I have a best friend at school. I don't want my children to have a best friend nowhere. I am your best, best friend. friend. If I shame you, I shame myself. And I always tell you, know, every friend have a next friend. friend. Yeah. So I am your best friend, your friend, and I'm your dad. I ain't got to prove. You see, after a while in life, these parents, they want to prove to their children that they are their parents. I am your mother. I'm your father. No. These children already know no, you that, are their yeah. parents. So mm -hmm. teach them some different thing. And the different thing is love. Love them and let them love you back. And it's easy to communicate through love. Our love is the most powerful thing in the world. But love don't love no one. You have to show it out of you. Out of you. Because I notice like with me, when I have an issue or if I have a problem, I don't have to think who am I going to call or who am I going to talk to because you are the first person I'm always call. If I have a problem, if I have a cry, if I have a laugh, if I go through whatever it is, it doesn't even matter what it is because if I go through one problem with a man, you are the first person I call and you are the first person I talk to. And a I lot know. of persons don't have that kind of relationship with their dad, but you made it so easy for us to be open to you, to share things to you because I always remember growing up, you always said to me that um, you don't want to hear anything from somebody outside. So whatever I'm going through or whatever I have done or what I plan to do, Tell come to me. you first. Yeah. So you basically answer everything. So I'm very open with my dad. He has, like as I said, he doesn't treat any of us any different. It depends on you if you want to hide things from him. Because my dad, he knows everything about me. When we say everything, we mean everything. So he doesn't make me feel any, you know, like he's my dad. Because we have this relationship with some time. But we said daddy, and next time, red boy, you know what I mean? Whatever, we just bond, we just have like a friendship, this like real tight bond. And I am very, very, very much appreciative of that. My next question is, I know that you hate when, um, you don't hate any gender, but you have a preference for girl children. Why is that so? Because I notice a lot of men, oh, you know, on a girl, but you, you have a love and a fond of girls. It's like you would have prefer all of your children to be girls. I have brothers, guys, but you prefer all of them to be girls. Why is that so? Okay, that is very simple. Most people in life, you have a choice, mm -hmm. right? When I grow up and I listen, every single person you ask, do you want a son? All of them is the same one answer. To carry the name. Carry <laughs> the name. And all that is crap. Because when you treat your daughters, them good. Most of them, when they marry, they still carry your name. So all that is a crap to me. <laughs> the thing you have to know about a, the difference between a boy and a girl is you can have your son and your son get his wife or his girlfriend pregnant and you happy, you're going to have a grandchild. And you so excited and happy and you get a grandson and you're kissing up your grandson. Oh, this is a grandson. Then nine years time, they do a DNA. It's not <laughs> your son child so you was kissing up this little boy who is a stranger so no my daughters can never give me a jacket when it come on to be a grandchild that is sure about she go to the hospital and she have a frog a egg anything she have i am the grandfather for that so that's my power when it comes to female so when i look at daughters a daughter will rub out two boxes for you, two marina. Call a son and ask him to do that. One out of every million yes, son I might do might that. Might do that. Say, Come and wash two boxes. Say, uh, Daddy, where you take man for? Yeah. Take man for boy or, or, or girl or something. And my daughters, them, they are, I love my sons. Don't get me wrong. And I treat them the same way. But my daughters, they are my number one. All right, so I have one more question, one more question for you, and that is, I know um, you're very passionate when it comes to being in your children's life, as we mentioned before, but like it hurts you sometimes when we talk about individuals where their dad is not a part of their lives. What is your message to men out there who, whether them choose not to, or them deliberately don't want to be a part of them child, child's life? What is your message to those men who are not active in their child's life? Worthless. You heard Very it? Very worthless. <laughs> Low down. And you are a dirty shame. <laughs> if you have a child, 
that child represent you. That simply means you're showing me you don't know how to represent yourself. And if you don't know how to represent yourself, you can't be around me. Because I don't talk to people who don't take care of their kids. You understand? Yeah. Because my motto is in life. It's better to be real and get rejected than to be fake and get selected. You understand? So, having a child out there, look how life is. We growing and sometimes we feel hungry. And when we feel hungry, we go and get something to eat. Imagine a child feeling hungry and this child can't fudge for itself. That's what we are there for as parents. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us can be a father, but we don't know to be a dad. Mm -hmm. All right, dad, what is your final message before we close out this video? Okay, my final message is to these men out there that does not care or take care of their children. One news I have for you guys, you don't know, but you're missing a lot. You're missing a lot in these children's life because it is so much fun and joy to raise them. And kids say the darnest things. But anyway, just remember this. We are nothing without God. And God is still God without us. Peace. That's a wrap, guys. And there you have it from the man himself, one of the greatest fathers in the world. I can attest to it. That man has been there for us ever since I can remember. Um, I've never heard anything negative about my dad. Um, you know, he's always been there. And that is what I hope and pray for for my daughter as well. And for any other young girls growing up, you know. It's so good to have your father in your life. Like, you know, as I mentioned before, he's somebody I go to for every single darn thing. If more if made hurt me, me yaya hurt me, man I give me a problem, <laughs> I go to him because him teach your life lessons where, you know what I mean, where you can carry, him can instill in you and you can carry forward to teach your kids. But I am so, 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 so appreciative of him and I'm happy that he is my dad, as I could have never asked for another father. Because not everybody can deal with me, but he, he and I basically have the same, but our personality is just similar. We are fun, you know what I mean? A lot of people might say, oh, we're too, we're too happy, because even with him too, you know what I mean? But why, why we want everybody you know, say the world like Hillary, you understand? But thank you guys for watching, thank you for subscribing. And oh my God, it's a beautiful day. It's a mere kind of wind. Let me show you the wind. Oh my God. Let me see the trees that I blow. The wind going on real, real bad. Jamaica lifestyle. I miss this so much. Watch your man. Oh my God. Woo. Mm -mm. Dirt, everything I fly up on me. But go on, subscribe, share, comment, like. Just always remember to like. And we will see you again in another video. Thanks for watching. Hey, Mommy. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Say, hey, Grandpa. Girl, it's been a long, long time coming in winter. It feels like cream.